Hey, I want to talk to you today about sharpening your garden tools. It's the winter time here in South Georgia. It's the perfect time to get those garden tools back in shape. Most people have a bench grinder such as this in the shop, and it does fine for sharpening your garden tools. You have to be careful with it, and I'm going to demonstrate that somewhat. Uh, the rock here is great because it takes a lot of material off real quick, but it has got some problems that you need to watch, and one of them is getting the material hot. Now, when I use the bench grinder, I do not use gloves because I like to feel the metal. And if the metal starts to get warm, I dip it in some water to cool it back off. If it gets hot and turns blue, you lose your temper, you lose your heat treat, the metal gets soft and you can't get it back without heat treating it. And most homeowners don't have the capacity to reheat treat material. So whether you're doing a lawnmower blade, a garden hoe, a machete, an ax, whatever, do not let that material get hot and turn blue. If you do, you have lost your temper. So I'm gonna demonstrate here today how I do it. And then I got an old sweep blade here. I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. And I'm gonna show you what happens when it does get hot. I hold it with my thumb and my finger here. And I try to keep about a 20, 25 degree angle right there. Material gets hot real quick. Just dip it down in the water, cool it off. You see right there, I took a lot of material off. It's getting pretty hot, I mean, uh, pretty sharp. Now I'm gonna show you what happens if you move too slow and you get your metal too hot. Okay, you see there the metal's got hot, turned blue, it's lost its temper. So if you're sharpening something and you do that, you've done more damage than you have good. Another way of sharpening is using a farmer's file. Farmer's file has this handle right here which is easy to grip and it's comfortable to use. Now the farmer's file has two sides, has a double cut and a single cut. The double cut is meant to take off more material and then we'll finish off with the single cut that takes off less material but kind of finishes it off. If you're out in the field or you don't have power, you don't have electricity or you're limited on the equipment that you got, the farmer's file is a great way to sharpen your, gar your garden tools and you don't have to worry about getting it too hot. It helps if you get a good vise. We use a Wilton vise right here to hold it so we can work on it. I'll start off with the double cut side here. And I put my hand down like this right here. I tried to maintain a good angle. And once I get down close to where I want to be, I'll switch over and use the single cut side. Well, I got a pretty good edge on it there. A farmer's file is one of the handiest tools you can have out in your garden shed. Keep one around so if you get a few minutes or you got a tool that needs touching up, you can grab it touch it up, sharpen it up. A sharp garden tool saves you a lot of time, saves you a lot of energy out in the garden.